Okay, guys, in this quick video, I'm going to show you how you can create a newsletter inside of KV Core. So what you're going to do is you're going to go over to marketing and smart campaigns. The way to create the newsletter is through an email template. So you're going to want to click on your templates, add a template, and this is going to be an email template. Now, if you are going to be creating monthly newsletters that you're going to send out right here for your template name, I would encourage you to stick newsletter and then let's say July, okay, or June, or whatever month it is. Go ahead and do that. Right here is gonna be your subject line. During the summer, some great ideas would be staycations, um, ways to stay cool, especially because I'm in Arizona and it's hot as heck. Um, maybe it's different resorts um, that they could stay at locally or whatever it is. Then you're gonna, um, down in here is where you would normally write an email. We're gonna do advanced editor. I actually create these for every single one of my emails that I send out, not just uh, newsletters. When you're creating a newsletter, you're probably making it in Canva. When you download it, download it as a PNG. If you are using co-branded newsletters from a title company or from a lender, have them send it to you instead of as a PDF, have them send it as a PNG or as a JPEG because you cannot insert a PDF into these types of things. So over here on the right-hand side is all the different content that you can add on there. The first thing that you're gonna wanna click and drag over here to where it says drag it here is gonna be a image blocks. If it doesn't go over, don't worry, just do it again. Well, this is gonna be really tricky, isn't it? Okay, so we're gonna drag it here. This is gonna be your email header. Your email header is where you are creating a brand recognizable to all of your sphere of influence, your prospects, anyone who you're sending this newsletter to. Um, it should include your colors. It should include a picture of you, um, your license number, ways to contact you, your email, your phone number, um, your e or your uh, website address. Um, you can also put on there any type of graphics that are associated with your brokerage. Since you are a real estate agent, make sure that you're staying in compliance for your state. Then I would add a divider. Okay. Then I'm going to add that other image, or maybe I'm going to add just a little bit of text. Then I'm going to add this image. So right here, I'm going to go into my um, file. I'm going to grab my email header. If you don't have an email header, you can go to Canva in the search bar, type email header <coughs> for a realtor. You can grab the ones that you like. You can make changes to it, add your stuff right here in this email. I'm going to take that information out by highlighting it. I'm going to add a merge tag. So that way it's for this person specifically. And then I'm going to write just a couple to a few sentences, right? Um, this is your monthly newsletter that gives you information on this. Then right here, notice how this size is this. Now I'm going to go here and I'm gonna upload this, okay? So maybe this is my newsletter. My newsletter is now an image inside of here. Now, as you're sending these newsletters out, the other content you can add and just click content and those things will come back up. Could be a click button. Maybe you are sending this out to your neighbors. What I would suggest that you do is create a multi-property squeeze page of homes that are in your area. Um, it could be homes that are specifically in that neighborhood, or if inventory is low in your area, you could also add um, for that zip code, or you can use the, um, the map function where you could do like a two mile radius around the neighborhood, just so that way you have some homes that people could view. Um, but that's basically how you are going to be creating a newsletter inside of KB Corp. I hope this was helpful. Click the follow.